How do you treat lupus? Lupus is treated by suppressing the immune system. And one of the things that we've learned that's very important is that we treat the symptoms. So there is no lupus patient that gets exactly the same medicine as this other lupus patient does. Since it's such a variable disease, we treat exactly the symptoms that we see. So if somebody has joint pains, we treat the arthritis, and we don't have to use very, very potent medication for that. But sometimes in the course of lupus in a patient, we often do need to use steroids because they work very quickly and they suppress the disease quickly, but then we'll also try to get rid of that medicine as fast as we can because of the side effects. So everybody's different and has to be followed very carefully and very closely so that we can adjust the medicines for them. The goal of the therapy is to give the best quality life with the least amount of symptoms? Absolutely. Lupus is controllable. It's unfortunately a chronic disease, which means it's a lifelong disease, but it is controllable in most cases. And so we want our patients, especially children who want to live a normal teenage life and adult life, we try to make sure that they're doing as well as possible. And usually that means taking some medicine to keep them feeling well, to keep the disease quiet. It might be a minimal amount of medicine that they hardly notice or they don't think it's very important, but if it's enough to keep the disease suppressed, they can do everything their friends do, and that's our goal. The life expectancy of someone going to a competent rheumatologist, is it shortened or what? Realistically, it may be shortened. By a lot or a little bit? Usually by a little bit, but it's, again, because lupus is so variable, that's a really difficult question to answer because some people, and I treat many, many lupus patients who are hardly on medicine at all. They've had arthritis, pain and swelling in their joints. They've had skin rashes or sores in their mouth. That doesn't require a lot of medication, and it also isn't life-threatening. On the other hand, there are patients who have effects of lupus in their kidneys, their heart, their lungs, and those patients we're much more concerned about. And again, those are patients that I would be worried about in the long run. So it's very, very important that we follow them very closely to try to give them really optimal care. So there's a mild form, there could be a moderate form, there could be a severe form. Right. There's a tremendous spectrum of what lupus can do. And if you get good follow-up, and you attend all the complications, you're probably enhancing the life expectancy. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's extremely important to have good follow-up from a rheumatologist.